Ow. Pain failed it. Hi! Hi, you might know me from this channel that I haven't posted on for quite some time now. There is a good reason for that, which I might get into at the end of this video, or I might not. There's only one way for you to find out. So I haven't filmed in a little while. As a result of that, I kind of have this nervous, anxious energy being on camera right now. It's really hot in my cup. And take a drink and then everything will be okay. I know it will work. I still have the exact same nervous energy, but that's okay. Which brings me to today's latest running serial, Wednesdays at the Movies. You can't see that at all, but it says Wednesdays at the Movies here. You're just gonna have to trust me on that. My local cinema has cheaper movies on Wednesdays. This is the ideal time for me to see movies from I don't have a lot of money, and seeing how I wanna try and do more fun, less scripted, less planned content going forward. I thought this would be a good way for me to talk about movies I like whilst they're in cinema, without having to do a deeper dive like I usually try to do in certain concepts. Originally, I planned to use my little lights so that I could do a cool red and blue lighting setup like I usually try to do, but unfortunately, they have disappeared and I can't find them. Right now, I'm actually filming with my photography lights and hopefully this looks good, if not a little boring. So here I am, talking about Sonic Adventure 2. For starters, I felt Sonic and Eggman were continued to be great in this movie compared to the last one. Papa's got a brand new stash. Ah! It would have been very easy for them to just not do a good job and just be lazy about it, but they didn't. It seems like they really put their all into this sequence and I'm really happy with that. But on that note, we've also got Idris Elba's Knuckles, who I thought was fantastic in this movie. I would describe him as being somewhere between your traditional Knuckles and the Knuckles from the Sonic Boom TV show. Capable is my middle name. I thought your middle name was The. Also, in my opinion, the best Knuckles of all time. My only real issue with this is I feel like there was a bit of time taken away from Tails. I just don't really feel like enough time was devoted to developing Tails as Sonic's best friend. I love the voice actor. He's great in this and all the games as Tails. I really liked how all the Easter eggs were incorporated into this movie. There was no moment where the camera slowly panned over something that half the audience wouldn't get just to be like, hey, remember this? kids. The majority of the easter eggs were more like little just touches on things in the world. Not only showed a lot of love and care for this movie, but also didn't really slow it down. Which is something I feel a lot of video game movies and comic movies kind of fail with. I've heard a few people say that they feel like the human storyline kind of slows down the plot, and I, to a degree, I do agree. You have Sonic and Tails off on this daring adventure with these high, massive stakes. And then you've just got Cyclops at a wedding being like, hey, that guy's a lot cooler than I am. Relatable. As a result of this storyline, we get this sequence that is just so funny that when it actually finished, I turned to my girlfriend who was like, oh yeah, this is a Sonic movie, but I'm not mad. I don't want to spoil the scene because I genuinely believe that everyone at home should go watch this movie and experience the hilarity of this, or at least wait till it's on Blu-ray and experience the hilarity of it then. Whilst I do agree that the human storyline was a bit slow, I do feel like it justifies itself at the end of Act 2 and at the end of Act 3 as well. On this a note of the human characters, can we just talk about a spoiler here? A character returns in this movie, his like solution for everything is to just like, he's a voucher to Olive Garden. Oh, I ruined your wedding and now everything is terrible for you? Olive Garden. It's just hilarious to me the thought that there's this war-torn, experienced general just walking around going, hmm, you know what would help? A voucher to Olive Garden. Everyone needs a voucher to Olive Garden. It fixes all situations. Overall, I would describe this movie as a great time. You should go watch. I haven't come up with a rating system for this movies on Wednesday thing, but on that note, thank you for watching. I will be planning to be releasing more videos soon. I am currently working on a deep dive into the philosophy behind the Saw movies and the webcomic Unordinary. Not together, that would be weird. Anyway, if you're interested in seeing more videos like that, please subscribe down below. Or if you're interested in more seeing more videos like this, please subscribe down below. Sorry if this had a little bit of a nervous energy to this. Once again, haven't done this in a while. As always, please comment, share, like, and subscribe, and tell me what you think. What did you think of Sonic?